Understand, the dragons are gone. Where could this one have come from? It, uh, it probably came from a dragon soul. Huh? You said something like that before, too. Do you know something we. Yeah, when I was at Galeritz, I saw them making things. With dragon souls, I mean. I didn't realize it at the time, but one of them looked an awful lot like... A dragon? Impossible! That can't... That is a possibility. What do you mean? Dragon souls behave unusually after death. When a dragon dies, its body decays, its mind passes on, but the soul crystallizes into a physical, tangible form. If the Empire's been researching ways to weaponize dragon energy, they're probably using these solid souls somehow. It only makes sense. That's... That's not all I saw. They're implanting regular monsters with dragon souls to power them up, too. They even tested what happens when you try it with a human subject. That's grotesque! The Empire can't be allowed to continue those experiments! Miss Sonia, it hurts when you squeeze that tight. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's a scary thought, so I... If we're all done here, we should head back. Right. Come along now, Primula. Emma will be glad to see you safe. Okay. Here they come! Come on! There! 
you up so late? Nothing. I just thought we could talk a little. Sure. I was a little bored myself. Still, I was kind of surprised you wanted to talk to me alone. Oh, uh, sorry if that was weird. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wasn't actually bothered, just... you kinda made me nervous. Okay. This is probably the first time we've had a normal conversation, huh? Now that you mention it, yeah. But it doesn't really feel like it's the first. I kind of know what you mean. It's like I already know you. Yeah, that's it. You're really easy to talk to, Sonia. <laughs> Maybe. I wonder why. Well, anytime you feel like talking like this, you can come find me. I'd be glad to. Thank you. 
planet. We've been spotted. I'm glad we were able to save Primula, but I had to use his power again. I... I broke my promise to Mom.
Hang in there, Mom. You're not gonna let this beat you. You can't. Come on. I'm sorry, Yuma. It's getting harder and harder to... I don't think... I don't think I can... stay. Oh, forgive me, Yuma, to leave you with such a burden. You don't deserve this. What, what kind of mother am I? No! You're a wonderful mom, stop it! I... I love you, okay? So please, don't go! You can't die! Don't leave me all alone, mom! Oh, Yuma, no tears now. Don't cry. I'm going away, but you'll be safe. Just take this. What is it? It'll protect you for as long as you wear it. Put it on, please. Oh, okay. Never lose it. Do you understand? Never. After I'm gone, this will keep you safe from the thing inside you. Tell me, Yuma. T tell me you understand. Please. I understand. That's my boy. <laughs> Mom! Always. Always keep it on, Yuma. Always. Treat it as you treat me. It has to be contained. It has to. Oh, my poor boy. I'll take good care of it, and I won't use the power, I promise. So please. Numa, I'm sorry. Forgive me. sudden invitation, though. Ah, Yuma. Right on time. This way, if you please. Yuma! 
<laughs> Primula, Emma, what are you doing here? While I told Uncle Burroughs what happened, I said I wanted to do something to thank you, and when he heard that, he told us to come to the castle. Your Highness, Miss Kirika, Yuma, thank you all so much. Thank you. Don't worry about it. We only did what needed to be done. Oh, Yuma should get special thanks, though. Thank you for helping us. Oh, oh no. You don't have to... No need for modesty now, Yuma. They made the trip to the castle to extend their personal thanks after all. Please accept my own thanks as well. You've protected my people from a dragon's wrath, and I don't just mean Primula. Had the beast been allowed to run unchecked, it might have chosen the city itself for its next rampage. But thanks to your efforts, that fate has been avoided. And for that, you have my gratitude, Yuma. <laughs> I told you he can fight, Father. Never would have thought. Putting an old dragon soul into a fresh body gets you a new dragon. And here I thought they were just pretty crystals. If the Imperials can keep churning these things out, we're really gonna need the shining... Burrows. <clears throat> Begging your pardon, of course, Yuma. That being said, in this matter, I actually agree with Burrows. I, for one, would rest easier at night knowing we have the dragon's support. I cannot force this upon you, Yuma, but forgive me for holding out hope. Have you given any more thought to my question? About lending you my... Uh... Power? <laughs> Mom said the dragon's power is dangerous. It has to stay contained, or else I'm courting disaster. For me, the people around me. But if there were a way to get a better handle on him, I did save Sonya and Kirika at Galeritz. And if I can fight off dragons like I did to help Primula, maybe it's not as bad as Mom thought. Maybe no one has to get hurt at all. If I just play it close to my chest, use it sparingly, help people out with it, maybe I can even be useful for once. Useful, me, the one always leaning on others for help. If I did that, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Mom would be okay, okay with it. Yuma! Sonia? You can do it. Will you fight alongside us? <sighs> I... I'll do it. Your Majesty, if you'll have me in your service. I want to help. Please, let me fight with you. If that's everyone, let us begin. I've called this summit for a single purpose. The Dragon. Tell me everything you know about the Shining Dragon.
Joachim, let us first discuss your contributions. What fruit has your study of the Shining Dragon borne? Yes, that. Nothing new to report, Your Highness. However, you did see him transform, yes? Then it would appear the boy does bear the dragon after all. He was quite submissive, so my interest faded. If only he'd suffered more, that would have been quite stimulating. Hmm. The dragon. Is it possible to use it for my father's ends? Repurpose its power? Oh, but of course. Not to worry, Highness. I wouldn't dream of missing anything useful. I'll dissect him to the marrow next time. As you like. A question of logistics, however. To even begin capturing the creature, we must know its location. Do we? Yes, Your Highness. Reports indicate Astoria is sheltering the boy for now. As I thought, they speak gentle words, but they wouldn't give up such power. But this is fortuitous. All we need to do now is lay a wide enough net, bait it sweetly to Astorian noses, and wait for our proverbial fish, or dragon, should I say. And when the trap is sprung, Zest, can we rely on you to capture the dragon? <sighs> capture? Sounds like a pain. Hmm? I thought you were interested in the dragon. Has your fancy moved on to other subjects? See, here's the thing. We've been talking it up a bunch, but if the Shining Dragon turns out to be a weakling, I might end up breaking it by accident. 
but if it's on the stronger side, <laughs> if boy lives up to the hype, there's no telling how excited I'll get. And then, what happens, happens, right? You will stand down, Zest. The Shining Dragon will be my responsibility for this operation. Whatever. After you've had your turn, I'll be there to make a real fight of it. You understand? Allow me to apologize for Zest's behavior on his behalf, Highness. I will see to the Shining Dragon if it please you. Hmm. I'll leave it to you then, Georg. But do not forget the purpose of your mission, nor the nature of your quarry. You are to observe, assess, and only then capture, if it's safe. Thy will be done. I await word of your success. That will be all. Beatrice? I'm here. The Princess Excella. You've had more than enough time to observe her now. Your thoughts? Well, let's see. She's got blue blood, all right. And the moodiness to match. Kind of a stuffy noble type. Nothing unexpected there. Reminds me a little of someone, actually. Someone tactically relevant? Someone I ought to know about? <sighs> no. I'm just being nostalgic, I suppose. More to the point, the princess. She's a sharp one, you know. Good fighter. Thinks well on her feet. Whatever it is you're planning, Georg, I'd be careful. You're not going to be able to outwit her too easily. I understand. If that's the case... Seems the only way I'm going to figure out this princess is by observing her firsthand.
We've been spotted. when there isn't an emergency. What happened to Rina? Rena. One of the Dragoneers who stays at the Seagull. She's not just a colleague, though. She's our friend. Is she another Diva Magica? the one who doubles up. She's the only Dragoneer Diva. Let me think now. Rina, she's supposed to be investigating those reports of suspicious Imperial activity, right? Oh, never mind investigating. She found an entire Imperial detachment. Even as we speak, she's fighting for her life. So you came to get us. Well done, Fromage. Now show us the way. Thank you. 